Yo, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you be notified every time I upload. Yesterday was a, it was an okay day. Uh, I did flash out um, if you call the YouTube short or Facebook or TikTok, whatever the case may be. Uh, if you caught those little plays, I, I, I what was it, 13 plays? I think we had uh, 9 out of 13 <clears throat> parlay pieces and straights, right? So it is what it is. Um, mainly, you know, I, I go live a lot on this channel. I just getting off work, so I'm really, really tired. But I do go live a lot on this channel. Uh, just trying to get back to uh, uploading videos. Um, later on, I, I just might go live for M NBA in a few. In a few, so uh, that's something that you could keep your eye on here. I'm going to try to keep this video kind of brief. I know it's a lot of games. Going to keep try to keep it kind of brief, and uh, let's go straight through it real quick. I bet I'm someone who bets a lot of hits, runs, and RBIs. So uh, you know, buckle up, right? Um, Pittsburgh Pirates at uh, Philadelphia Phillies. Here we got an over under eight and a half. We got Keller on the mound. We got Wheeler on the mound here. Now I couldn't talk you off the eighteen and a half outs for Wheeler. Um, it's a it's a play that I, if I do go there, it's going to have to be a straight play. It's sitting at plus money on DraftKings. Um, uh, you'll get the eighteen and a half at. Uh, plus 105. It's been about that all night long. I've just been watching it, watching it, watching it, seeing if it comes down to a 17 and a half, which I could jump on it as a parlay piece, right? So um, at the end of the day, though, um, uh, the money line, I go money line parlays, run line straights with the Philadelphia Phillies team, and it's the bats for me, right? Um, the left handed bats are in play versus uh, Mitch Keller. Uh, you can look at Bryce Harper. Um, <clears throat> The lefties, the usual lefties. So Bryce Harper, Kyle Schrubber, Brandon Marsh, right? Those guys are in play, right? Uh, hits, runs, and RBIs all the way up to a home run, okay? You guys know who does what, right? Um, if you want to get to the money line or something like that, you could you could manually do something. Let's see what the player performance doubles look like. If you want to support a, a, a strikeout prop or something like that and the win, uh, right now, uh, Zach Wheeler's prop sitting at six and a half is K prop. If you want to look at a pair of performance doubles or something like that, you can get a six Ks in a win at uh, minus 110. So it's a few ways that you can, you know, uh, mix and match things here, right? So uh, that's what I'm looking at right there. Probably, like I said, uh, money line parlays, run line straights. Um, Uh, Los Angeles Angels at Boston Red Sox. And I did not look at this game over like I should have. Probably going to pass on it. I did um, drop a hitch run to RBIs, maybe as a parlay piece over there for uh, Mike Trout at a minus 155. I couldn't talk you off of that. Uh, one a hitch run to RBIs at one and a half. I couldn't talk you off of that. But at the end of the day, I didn't really cap this game like I'm supposed to. So I'm going right on past it. Milwaukee Brewers at Baltimore Orioles. We got an over under eight and a half in this spot. There's some, it's some, it's some, it's some, it's some, it's some, it's some revenge narrative here with the uh, Corbin Burns thing. Then Colin Rare, right? So Colin Rare, we could target left hand batters versus him. So you know lefties like uh, O'Hearn, Gunnar Henderson, switches like uh, switches like uh, Santander. Uh, but if I had to take one bat here, it would probably be um, Gunnar Henderson. It's, it's his, his, his hits, runs, and RBIs sitting at uh, two and a half. So that's something that you can look at there. Don't know if I'll get there, but I got him in my player pool. And then the outs, right, is a parlay piece for uh, Corbin Burns at eight seventeen and a half. Uh, you can get this on the pick em sites as well. Like uh, I've already taken this prop at 17 and a half outs for Corbin Burns. I took that on... Um, Chalkboard already, so it is what it is, right? Um, but like I said, the left hand batters here, you can look at all the lefties over there um, for uh, Milwaukee. I mean, Baltimore Orioles. Those guys do. Um, those guys do uh, look good uh, because um, because uh, Colin Ray he's pitching his worst versus left hand batters, right? So. Uh, Let's keep it moving. Um, Colorado Rockies at Toronto Blue Jays. We've got an over under eight and a half in this spot. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays, big heavy favorites, minus 245 on the money line. Uh, and, and, that, and and I guess rightfully so. Uh, uh, Cal Freeland on the mound. He's pitching his worst towards righties. Uh, really bad towards righties right now. Uh, give me the uh, Toronto Blue Jays money line parlays, run line straights. 
And at the end of the day, the bats here, uh, we can go with a stacking method. If you guys know that uh, hits, runs, and RBIs, they tend to hit. When they hit, they hit all the way throughout the lineup. And what I mean by stacking, you know, you can take the highest shooters. I mean, you know, the, the, the best players there, if you get a reasonable number. And the, the reason, only reasonable numbers you're going to get from this game is going to be two and a halves. So uh, David Snyder here at a minus 160. Uh, you can take a hit all the way up to a home run. You can look at his uh, total bases, whatever the case may be. His, his runs are not going to be out there at minus 160 at a parlay piece. Uh, Bo Bichette, Justin Turner, Vlad Guerrero, right? Justin Turner is probably my top bat versus him because he's seen him a lot. Justin Turner's number versus him is looking like... Uh, let's see, where's Justin Turner? Um, he's 16 for 48 versus him, so we've seen him a lot. He's got about everything versus him except for uh, a home run. He's bad 333, 12 singles, three doubles, one triple, no home run. Could, it, could today be the day for a home run for him? Who knows? I know he's itching to hit a home run off of him. He'll been to hit the cycle off of him. <laughs> you know? But, uh, yeah, Vladdy, Vladdy, all these guys, I'm, at, I'm probably going to end up playing – uh, Boba Shed, uh, Justin Turner, and Vlad, Vlad Guerrero's straight, probably, right? And then uh, uh, put uh, Snyder in a, uh, in a in a parlay. Uh, looking at the bats here for this game, uh, at the end of the day, Snyder popped at the top of the list for Toronto Raptor, I mean Toronto Blue Jays bats, right? So that that says a lot. Um, Atlanta Braves at Miami Marlins. Um, didn't too much look at this game. We know what it is when to get the Braves. And Lazardo is a, uh, at home is a place where you want to back him at. So if you want to get to Lazardo and some strikeouts or anything of that nature, uh, it is fine with me. I'm not messing with him. I probably ain't messing with Morton either. Um, bats from this one here. Uh, the best that I do target versus lefties uh, is Ozuna, uh, Riley, uh, Albies. Uh, of course, um, <clears throat> Of course, uh, Acuna, but, you know, it's a lot of bats there, man. If I had to take one, I mean, it, it would be, uh, man, I couldn't even tell you, man. I couldn't even tell you, man. Those are the, those are the ones. I didn't even put them in my player pool as far as hits, runs, and RBIs. I'll put, I'll, I'm going to probably do a same game parlay with that. Uh, so it is what it is. New York Yankees at uh, Cleveland Guardians here. Not too much I have for this one here. We got an over one to eight and a half in this spot. Uh, I didn't even think – I thought it would have opened up at eight, but it is what it is. We got Nesta Cortez on the mound, Allen on the mound. And uh, what I'm looking at here, you can look at a, a Soto, right? You can look at him. You can get the over a half a walk for him at uh, minus 119. He's got a walk in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight games. This is a gift that keeps on giving. I had him for like three games straight. Hey, if you want to get to him, be my guest. It is what it is, right? Uh, he's he's been walking, walking, and walking, right? So it is what it is, right? That's one, of the, you know. You can look at him for his hits, runs, and RBIs too. Just being able to get on base with some of those guys, hits, runs, and RBIs is a prop that you can hit in multitude of different ways. You don't even have to get a hit. Minnesota Twins at uh, excuse me, Minnesota Twins at um, Detroit Tigers here. We got an over under eight and a half in this spot. Two teams that will strike out. Um, so I'm torn. I don't know if I wanted to take the five and a half strikeouts for Bailey Ober or his outs or things of that nature. But uh it's a few bats on both sides of the uh on both sides of the, uh, from, from both teams that could probably get a little bit jiggy here, but I'm not messing with any of them, any of them, man. Just to tell you the truth, I'm not messing with any of them. Uh I, I can care less what happens in that game. I'll keep it moving. Kansas City Royals at New York Mets. Uh, you got Ray Cole Reagans on the mound. You got uh, I forgot his name, Buto, whatever the case may be. Over under eight and a half in this spot. Um, Kansas City Royals. Kansas City Royals looking good, man. I gotta get that hat. I can't forget to order that hat. I'm gonna order that hat today, probably. But at the end of the day, um, uh, hmm. There's one bat that did pop out to me, and that was uh, and that was uh, Nelson Velasquez. 
he actually popped up to the top. Don't know if I'll get there to him, but I probably will since I got that money in, his, in my pocket for his hitch runs and RBIs. Uh, so I don't think I have him on my player pool over here. So let me go over here to battle props over here and let me put them in real quick. Kansas City Royals, because they didn't have them out. That's what it is. And I don't know what the hold up. So I'm waiting on them to add those bats. That's what I was doing. So I'll skip right over that. But like I said, um, um, he did pop up. He did pop out for me, right? Uh, Nelson Velasquez. So that's why I'm looking at that. Uh, Blake Snell, Armstrong on his mound for this uh, San Francisco Giants and Tampa Bay Rays game here. Um, Blake Snell, he's somebody who, who, who he, ain't been, he ain't been going six innings lately. Even dating back to last year, he hasn't been going six innings. His strikeout, his strikeout probably last time I checked was sitting at seven and a half. Don't know how I want to approach that, but we got over at the eight this spot. I want to say I lean to the under here, but you know it is what it is. I don't know, man. Um, Harold Ramirez, man, he's a guy who does hit lefties. He hit lefties well. If you just want to get to him, I did not add him to my player pool. I don't know what to do with these bats here, right? Texas Rangers at uh, Houston Astros. We got an over under eight and a half in this spot. Houston Astros minus 120 favorites. Eovaldi on the mound. Javier on the mound. There's a lot of ways that you can go about, you know, playing this game here. Yeah. Uh, the top two bats, of course, um, Corey Seager, Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez is five or seven versus this guy, right? Um, I want to say, um, let's see. Jordan Alvarez is five. Uh, 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 yeah, he, he's. Uh, I think he's five for seven versus this guy. Then you got. Um, I mean, uh, <clears throat> Jose Altuve. He's now for. He's now for twenty eight with five home runs versus him. Right. Um, Hmm. I don't see. Hmm. Well, I must be seeing things. Either way I go, uh, you can look at somebody like Bregman. He's a, he's a, he's got righty righty splits. Corey Seager for sure. Evan Carter. Evan Carter was the one, the guy that popped at the top of the list for me. So I'm taking his hitch runs and IBIs. Um, I forgot what the number was. Let me take a look and see. Um, Evan Carter, minus 105. He really, 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 really popped for me, right? Um, Yaya Diaz, right? So, um, like I said, if you guys been messing with me, you know, for, for a while, whatever the case may be, uh, his splits, right? His superstar split, his favorite split was uh, at home versus righties, right? Uh, last year, he's doing really, really good. I can show you guys some numbers. Um, so, checking out his splits. Um, <clears throat> it didn't register. Checking out his splits. Come on, please. Would you please hit the button? Thank you. Right. So dating back to last year, uh, here's a guy that you need to pay attention to if you haven't already. Right. Versus Riders in general, he's uh, batting 307. Um, he had 23 home runs. Uh, 20 of them came versus uh, Riders, and uh, and and uh, um, 13 of those were at home versus Riders. That's his best split. Right. Uh, as you can see, at home versus Riders. Uh, his batting average balloons up to 358. That was last year's number. Go and look at some advanced numbers here. Um, um, at home versus righties here. Uh, low K percentage at 15.2. Average 358. Uh, 693 slugging. 1,000 OPS. 336 OP, uh, uh, isolated power with a 194 WRC+. plus. That was Yanya Diaz at home last year versus righties, right? Small sample size this year, though, but we'll take a look and see what he's been doing versus righties this year. Um, he's still batting 326 there in the three in the 300s there. He has one home runs coming on the road versus a righty. No, two. 
And then he's got one at home versus Riley, right? So he got two home runs, advanced numbers for him. They're a little bit down, but it's too small of a, a sample size, right? So at home versus Riley's, uh, right now he's only uh, at a 7% K rate with a 400 at batting average, uh, 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 um, OPS at 989, fastest slugging. Um, isolated power is down, but it's still a small sample size. 187 WRC plus, right? So you can see reasons why I like the hits, runs, and RBIs for him. Uh, I just, you know, just somebody that I got to put you guys on notice so you guys can keep on, you know, keep it on, right? All the bats are in play. If you ask me here, we got an over under eight and a half in the spot. Um, I do. I, I don't know who I want. To, I don't know. Uh, don't give me the line, right? Uh, Corey Seager. I like Corey Seager. Um, Evan Carter. Uh, Adolis Garcia. It's a lot of names here. I don't know what's going to happen in this spot. It's a possibility Javier can get his ass blown up in this spot. Uh, this Ivaldi, he has some guys that got some numbers off of him here. So, you know, they might end up touching it over. Who knows, right? So I don't have a, I don't have a side on that one there. Uh, I did, you know, talk about those couple bats. Those are the bats that I have interest in. Cincinnati Reds at uh, Chicago White Sox over under nine in this spot. Ashcraft on the mound, Soroka on the mound. And uh, at the end of the day, money line parlays, run line straights. Give me those uh, uh, Give me those Cincinnati Reds, right? We like to beat up on these teams. We're trying to beat up on the week, right? As bats, as far as bats concerned here, this is another uh, another stacking option, another stacking you know situation here, right? So you got Jake Fraley, Will Benson, like both of those guys for his runs and RBIs in this spot. Uh, sliding back down, you got guys like um, um, man, there's so many bats in play here. Um, Edwin and Carson Carnacion, uh, De La Cruz, you know what I'm saying? So those are just to name a few. All those bats are in play. You can take those guys and bet them individually. And uh, nine times out of ten, probably all of them gonna cash, right? It just is what it is. I get a pitching lean towards uh, uh, towards uh, the Reds in this one here. Uh, looking for some pitcher props here. I was looking on the outs recorded. I'm trying to find the outs recorded for, uh, and they won't put them out, right? So I, I, I'm, I, you know. And, and, you know, that's the shit you got to deal with, right? So I was looking at the outs prop, looking for the outs prop for Ashcraft. Um, could talk off his strikeouts, but I will not be going there. I don't take his strikeouts. I like to take his outs. So I like to see where his outs come out at. And it might come out at about 15.2, something like that. We'll see. Um, Washington Nationals at Oakland Athletics here. We got an over under eight in the spot. Um, two bats I'm looking at here for sure. Uh, Zach Yellow on one side, he's three for three versus Williams. And then on the other side, you got uh, Lane Thomas, right? I'm definitely looking at those two bats there. Uh, and I'll, I'll reiterate that again. Lane Thomas, uh, one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. And then you got Zach Yellow, uh, one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs at uh, minus 115. You can take him for a hit all the way up to a home run. Like I said, uh, I want to say Lane Thomas probably three for um, or maybe five for seven or three for five. And then Zach Geloff, he's uh, 100% to that guy. He's three for three. Let me see if I got these guys set to the side of my player pool so I can give you a good uh, instance of numbers, right? Um, Michael Soroka, he's pitching his worst to right-hand batters at 1,000 OPS. Uh, Ymir Candelario, Eli De La Cruz, you know, just to name a few other guys. And like I said, uh, where are they? Where are they now? Where are they? Where are they now? Uh, interesting. So interesting that I didn't even add them to my player pool. And I have to put them. This is my fancy DFS fans. Uh, player pool. So I definitely got to put those guys in that, right? So these two guys right here, uh, 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 Lane Thomas, Zach Geloff, even if you want to put them in your hit parlays, be my guest, right? Um, what else we got here? Um, so uh, St. Louis Cardinals at Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, I, I, it's a any small lean towards the over 17 and a half outs for Zach Gallen. Uh, his strikeout prop probably sitting at five and a half. If you want to get that, be my guest. Uh, I can... 
see instances where he gets there uh, versus right hand pitching. Um, six and a half. I don't know if I'll go there. Right. I don't know if I'll go there. But versus right hand pitching. Um, versus right hand pitching. Um, strikeout wise, uh, St. Louis they're sitting at uh, uh twenty three point six and uh four hundred and fifty plate appearances with a WRC plus of eighty eight versus right hand pitching. We're getting, it, we're getting a good sample size to see what these teams are, who they are, and what they're looking like. So, you know, it is what it is. This is a strong lean here to the over two and a half hits runs and RBIs for Corbin Carroll. Uh, you could you could, you could could fade this, right? It's not an official play. I think he's in a good spot, so it is what it is, right? Uh, he's one guy that popped off pretty hard for me. Um, he popped up at the top of the list for this pers uh, perspective matchup here, right? But uh, Zach Gallen, over 17 and a half outs, is a strong lean. I haven't pulled the trigger on the straight yet, but, you know, it's a strong lean for me. Um, <clears throat> what else we got here? Uh, I think we got like one or two more games that I probably didn't have nothing for. Uh, but let's see. Right. So, um, right. So Chicago Cubs at Seattle Mariners. Mm, if you just want to look at Hap. Uh, you can look at Hap. I didn't add him to my player pool. You can look at uh, Bellinger. I didn't add him to my player pool. Probably need a little bit more digging for that game, but, you know, can't have a, uh, something on everything here. Uh, San Diego Padres at uh, Los Angeles Dodgers here. We got an over-under of uh, eight and a half in this spot. And uh, uh, mm, I don't know what to expect from this game. Um, these Dodgers got some decent history versus Darvis. Um, if I'm not mistaken, let me see. So M Max Muncy, he's six for 30 versus Darvis. No home runs. Um, Freddie Freeman, he's eight for twenty-eight, uh, batting 286 with two four singles, two doubles, two home runs. Mookie Betts, he's got a home run, two singles, three doubles, um, six for thirty-two. So I, I don't know how the, you know, we got some batters over here that seen a lot of him. And then you couple that with the fact that uh, you know, this the San Diego team, they've been hitting lefties, you know, okay. So that's what's got me uh on the side on the side right now, man. You know, they 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 hitting lefties real well. Um WRC plus right here. Um what the fuck team was that? San Diego Padres. Uh sitting at uh, ninth right there with a 116 WRC plus versus uh left hand pitching. Um, K rate kind of down. I don't know how I want to, you know, attack this game here, man. I don't, right? Uh, I thought I had, uh, I thought I seen some good numbers for, um, so, so for some reason, half of my, half, I have to go back in and fix that, right? So I have to go back in and fix that. So I'll just leave it at that, right? Um, at the end of the day, hey, take what you like, leave what you don't, um, and I'm getting out of here, guys. I'm getting out of here. I didn't. I'm getting out of here, right? I uh, do need to look into some basketball. Might go live for basketball, but it is what it is, guys. Peace out. Peace.